Hey guys, my name is Avigat and in this video I'll be creating a Java program to find whether a triangle is an equilateral triangle, an isosceles triangle or a scalene triangle. So before I start with the program, I'll just tell you in brief what each triangle is and what are their properties. So firstly an isosceles triangle is uh, basically when two sides of the triangle are the same but the third side has a different value. An equilateral triangle is when all three sides are equal uh, and lastly a scalene triangle is when all three sides are of different values. So now let's start writing the code. Here I've already written the basic structure that we always start with in any program. First I start with the import java.util.scanner then class then public static void main and then the scanner line which is used to take input. So now I will first create uh, three variables for the three different values of the triangle. So int and the three variables I'll create are a, b and c. Okay, now I will take input from the user and to do that first I'll write a print statement. So system dot out dot print ln and here I will say enter the first side of the triangle. Now I will store the first side of the triangle in the variable a. So I'll say a is equal to sc dot next int and next int is a method used to collect the value in the form of an integer. Now I will just copy this and paste it two more times. Here I'll just change it to second side of the triangle and it will become uh, b. Then lastly I'll make it enter the third side of the triangle. Here it will be c. Okay so now this part is done. I'll start creating my if condition. So first I will write the if condition to check if the triangle is an equilateral triangle. So if now for it to be an equilateral triangle I need to make sure that the first two sides are equal and then I need to compare those sides with the third side to see if those sides are equal. So in order to do this first I will say if a double equal to b so if the first side is equal to the second side and now I will use the and operator because in this I will have um, two parts so if a double equal to b and b double equal to c this means that all sides are equal and uh, so I'll write my curly brackets and then I'll write a print statement. So system dot out dot print ln equilateral triangle semicolon. Now I'll write another if condition. So to do that I'll have to use else if and here I'll be checking if the triangle is an isosceles triangle. So for this I'll use the or operator. So if a double equal to b this means that firstly a and b are the same and it also shows that c is a different value as compared to a and b uh, which is the property of an isosceles triangle so that's going to be the first part but in this there'll be three parts so i'll compare a with b then b with c and then a with c okay so if a double equal to b or to represent or i'll use um, the two vertical lines which is the or operator so or b double equal to c again or c double equal to a here i will just copy this and instead of equilateral triangle this will be an isosceles triangle so now that these two conditions have been created to check if it's a scalene triangle i will just add else and here i will say scalene triangle because if both these conditions are not met then it automatically means that it is a scalene triangle. Okay, so now the program is completed. I will just compile this and let's check the output. Void main. Okay, so the first three values I'll give will be the same to check if it's showing me that it's an equilateral triangle. So I'll say 5, then 5 and 5. Here it shows that it's an equilateral triangle. I'll check the output again. This time I'll give it three completely different values and it should show me that it's a scalene triangle. So four, five and six. Yeah, here it shows that it's a scalene triangle. Okay, so this is going to be the last test. I'll just give it two same values and a different value and it should show me that it's an isosceles triangle. So let's say five, five and seven. Here, isosceles triangle. Okay, so yeah, that is all for this video. Hope you learned something new. And if you did, please don't forget to like the video, subscribe to my channel and see you later. Bye.